Well, I'm super excited to have back Chris Reynolds. Chris is the president of Gospa Missions and Abode for Children. Yes, ma'am. And that also involves the, the amazing, amazing, <laughs> amazing, amazing grace, grace books. books and gifts. Yep, that everybody knows here in, in, in Butler, that which is located in Evan City. Yes, right on Main Street in Evan City. We even have the lights now on outside at night. Oh, so how beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. So, well, welcome back. Thank you. And Thank you. I know I'm trying to keep track, Chris. I mean, you guys have been very busy. Can you yes. give us an update? Well, we have uh, a boat for children. The update there is we we started a girls' junior college building it last year. Okay. And um, in August, and it is now complete and paid for. And Got tell everybody where this amazing junior college is. It's over in India. It's in Cherikapali, India. Um, we have 50 girls currently living um, in our dorm there, and we have seven young ladies from the local villages. Okay. Um, and that's on our it's in our compound with our junior school, our lower school, sure. with our orphanages. And we have another 115 kids in the orphanage, and we educate 500 from the local villages. Right. So this gives the girls an opportunity to go on to just 11th and 12th grade. Right, because prior that to this, difference. yeah, prior to this, they were done, right they, after 10th grade. They were grade. pretty much done. Most of the families wouldn't send their girls on to junior college. The okay. boys, they send on. Okay. But the girls, they'll go back into the fields or whatever, you yeah. know, get married off or what have you. Exactly. So now, you know, whatever interests they have, they can continue learning about them and exploring mm -hmm. and, and thinking about their future. Yes. And we have five labs. I mean, we have a biology lab, a zoology lab, a computer lab. Ooh. That's I just right. lost the other two. Okay. But it's, it's building and it's growing. <laughs> yes. You know, something else that I read that I was very impressed. I mean... In August, you started construction last year. Yes. And in June, it was completed, the construction. Yes. And it was paid for. Yes. $360,000. Wow. So That's... you have a lot of support. Yes. So now what else do we need to get well, done? Well, we, we had to furnish it. Right. And so we went ahead and went out on the grace of God and, and we purchased all the stuff. Okay. Um, and we only have, uh, it was 70 grand okay. to furnish the whole building. Got it. You know, all the labs and computers and desks. And we, we only have 12500 left to pay okay. for that. Okay. So if anybody's looking well, to donate, <laughs> go to yep. abodeforchildren.org and... And something else I think super important for our audience to know is that you also can get involved by sponsoring one of these one of these young ladies. And tell me, what is that? What does it mean to sponsor? What is it, would it mean for a family? And do they have the opportunity to communicate? Yes. Um, we basically, our sponsorships are set up where um, we actually have two or even some instances, three sponsors per child. Okay. Because it costs $60 a month to okay. feed, educate, house, and clothe one of these children. Um, a lot of people can't afford 60 So right. we've always done $20 um, a sponsor. Oh, got it. And they get, they get the right to the child twice a year. Okay. They send them to us. We package it all up, send it over. Um, and then uh, they write back twice a year. Oh, and, how nice. And these letters are absolutely beautiful. And handwritten? Handwritten. Oh, they decorate them with pictures, and it's just absolutely beautiful. Now, do you find in the past, like, some families will sponsor a, a child throughout their whole the whole education oh, process? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And we have many families that sponsor multiple children. I have one gentleman who sponsors 12 kids. Oh, wow. So every month... You know, he renews his sponsorship for one of his children. Okay. So now we're going to imagine that, you know, the donations are going to come in. Mm -hmm. We're going to pay off the, the $12,500 mm -hmm. that you had mentioned. Yes. What's kind of like next on the agenda? Is getting these girls sponsored. Oh, so, getting them sponsored. Yeah, right okay, now we're, we're working on <laughs> trying to figure out how to get all the collateral material together. Yeah. You know, get the website, you know, update it and... Get, you know, we put together sponsor packets, so we got to get their profiles together. You know what I think is awesome? What's that? Is that a lot of times when people go into like a project like that, they want to have like all the ducks in a row or have it all done, right? Mm. And and you're, I, we have faith it's going to happen, and it does. It does, amen. Right, the Holy Spirit. That's right. And besides the abode for children, 
You also, through Gospel Missions, yes. have a lot of different events that our audience might want to participate. There's a retreat coming up in August. August 3rd, right up here in uh, Highfield Community Center in Butler. And wonderful speakers. You can find out all about that online. Whole day of, uh, yes. e of events and activities. Uh, and if you want to register, you want to do that now. You can go to gospa.org. <laughs> right. And there's a bar right up the top that you can click because we're, we're selling out. It's going to sell out. Yeah. Well, with the speaker lineup you have, yes. uh, absolutely. You can also find the like, latest newsletter, and there's great content in that if you would like to learn more. And then you have a pilgr pil pilgrimage coming pil in October. Pilgrimage to Medjugorje. Um, that's where Tom, our founder, had his conversion. Okay. Uh, was in Medjugorje, and that's what Gospa is Croatian for Our Lady. So right. it's Our Lady's mission. Okay. Um, so we're gonna. This is the first one in uh, a long time. In a long time. So and we're then excited a, about it. And then another spring retreat is May seventeenth. Okay. Yes. Mark your calendars. May seventeenth. We're gonna be back up at Highfields. They're great people to deal with there. If you're ever looking for a facility. So you're gonna have to come <laughs> back on. Tell us about the pilgr pilgrimage, okay? And then you can fill us in on that retreat in the spring. Sounds good, Chris. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. It's oh. always a, I love being here. Oh well, we love having you, and what great work! Thank you. Thanks for watching this episode of the Butler Buzz. If you want to see more, just click on the playlist button up here. To keep up to date with all of Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, click on the subscribe button down here. Hey, I suggest you do both. See you next time.